Hey everybody, Steven here, and today, huge news for Unknown Worlds, as they have been acquired by Crafton Inc. Crafton Inc. is the company that makes PUBG Battlegrounds, so this was something that I saw on Twitter. It was shared by Charlie, who is one of the founders of Unknown Worlds, and we're going to go through this and read. This is a pretty short statement here. I have reached out to the devs. And they've kind of said, hey, everything that we want to say right now is actually just in this article. And I'll have a link for this in the description as well. But I'm going to cover this and kind of I have a couple questions in my head that I want to kind of just throw out there and then cover something very specific that is brought up in this as well. So with this, um, just what I said here, they're going to acquire unknown worlds as we scroll down here. I'm going to read through this. It says they are known for its global hit title PUBG Battlegrounds and the upcoming AAA title The Callisto Protocol. Today they announced that it's a decision to acquire the creators of Subnautica Unknown Worlds. This latest decision continues Crafton's expansion strategy of securing and investing in top tier talent that aspires to evolve, innovate and create new experiences. Unknown Worlds becomes Crafton's sixth independent studio joining a stable of other seasoned developers that include PUBG Studios, Striking Distance Studios, Blue Hole Studios, Rising Wings, and Dream Motion. So with this, they're not the only company, obviously, that uh, Crafton owns here. So um, my my big thing with this is, is just looking at that, if we're seeing, if we're going to see maybe some cross-pollination with these, whether that's help or whatever it may be, resources where um, you have unknown worlds, maybe one of the other studios needs a little bit of help with animation, or maybe they need help with animation, whatever it may be, if, if we're going to start to see that with these companies, or if they just remain completely independent. One of the things that they have said, because I reached out to Danya, who is the community manager, is that they, they really do want to stress that they are independent. So Unknown Worlds isn't changing. Um, they are an independent studio kind of under the house, the roof of Crafton here. So let's continue right here. It says Unknown Worlds will come to Crafton with a vast amount of experience steeped in a rich history of creating community driven gameplay experiences. Founded by Charlie Cleveland and Max McGuire in 2001, the studio created the highly popular Half-Life mod, Natural Selection, which went on to see a commercial sequel. Continuing with its community-focused roots, the studio went on to release critical and commercial PC and console success, Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero in early access before official launches. With Unknown World's proven ability to create immersive experiences that resonate with gamers around the world, the latest acquisition plan will help Crafton expand its IP and di diversify the company's portfolio of groundbreaking games. Unknown Worlds are incredibly skilled and passionate developers with an unparalleled gift for creativity and a proven track record of building successful player-driven worlds, said C.H. Kim, CEO of Crafton Inc., Crafton will spare no effort in helping them. And that kind of answers one of my things here is like, are they going to get help in terms of resources and things like that with this um, acquisition here? Not only do they enhance our development capabilities, but we share a goal of creating unique experiences for global audiences. It was immediately apparent how closely Unknown Worlds and Crafton are aligned in the way we think about games and development, said Charlie Cleveland, CEO of Unknown Worlds. Subnautica and PUBG both started humbly and evolved successfully through constant iteration and feedback. We want to bring new games to the world stage, and with Crafton, we're a big step closer. We're truly looking forward to our future together. Moving on to the last two sections here. Uh, and actually I'm going to save that because I do want to cover a couple of thoughts because there's something at the end of that next part that, uh, I'm going to be talking about. Um, but with this, once again, resources, distribution, these are two things that obviously this company can help with here. How does that ecosystem work with Crafton providing them with these resources, or maybe they're like, Hey, we need you to help with a studio over here, whatever it may be. I do think they're going to see some of that. Um, it's not something that we would 
physically our, see ourselves, right? It's just um, we would see the fruits of this in these next games. It's going to show up because this allows them to potentially do bigger things now that they do have more resources at their disposal. Um, I do think with this too, it's it just an interesting choice. It's kind of came out of left field. I mean, they've probably known about it for a while, but anybody that plays Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero or Natural Selection, it's just one of those things. They are an independent game studio and anybody that follows, follows them on social media and has really followed the company, they are a company that kind of prides themselves on unique stories, um, stories that don't need uh one of the big things with my interview with Obraxis, like you don't need um, guns and things like that necessarily to tell a really good story. And that's the case with Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. Um, they're also very inclusive. Uh, that's another thing that you see with their teams that are all over the world. And they're from different backgrounds and different communities. And with that, they, they have... I've seen, and these are the developers, they have their own opinions, so I don't want to say that this is obviously something that the company is stating, but when they look at other companies um, and they're, they're forcing the employees to grind really hard and they're doing all this overtime, and, and it's not that that's probably not happening where, yeah, we got to do a little bit of overtime, but I mean, when they're forcing these guys to work and they're just not happy with what they're doing, that's not the case with what I've seen as an outsider with Unknown Worlds. Everybody at that company really, really loves what they do. And so keeping that in mind, I think they would look for a parent company like to have those same values and to align themselves with a company that was like that. So when I see that, yeah, they're going to go with this, I think there was obviously probably a lot of factors that went into that decision. But I think a big part of that is going to be what type of environment does that company have? Because they don't want to go into a toxic environment or align themselves with a company that does have toxic values. So this is something that uh, I think is going to pay dividends for anybody that is a fan of Subnautica, Subnautica Below Zero, Natural Selection. And then this next big part here, which we're going to talk about. So it says, Unknown Worlds will function as an independent game development studio, wholly owned by Crafton, and will continue to operate globally with talent seated throughout the world. Unknown world structure and leadership will remain in place to retain its unique creative identity. Those are big things there. We've kind of covered this, but to see it in writing here too, right? So they're still going to operate all over the world, which they don't really have a physical office anymore. I think they closed the one down in California, if I remember correctly. So literally everybody's kind of scattered all over the globe with this, which is crazy that, yeah, they don't have a central office and they still make these amazing games pointing to, yeah, you don't need 200 people um, at an office, like forcing a ton of overtime to make a very, very good game, right? But it also says here that the structure and leadership will remain in place to retain its unique creative identity. So we're not going to see nobody's leaving or anything like that. We still have the same creative team. That's a big one too. Um, just because I've, I've come to know, know some of these people and, uh, I love my interactions with them. They're always super nice. They're helpful when I have questions and uh, it just speaks to the culture that they have there at the studio. In addition to ongoing updates for Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero, Unknown Worlds is currently working on a new genre defining game, which is slated to launch into early access in 2022. That is a big one right there. That's the one I wanna finish with. We've talked about this. They mentioned it earlier this year. We have really no details with this. And so we have our first big detail. It's going to be in early access. That's something we haven't known either. Like, is it gonna make it to early access? They haven't, they've been really, really tight-lipped about this. And so this is our first big piece of information. Early access in 2022 here. And um, I'm, I'm happy to see that because playing Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero to see the game developed and where it starts and where it ends is, is fascinating to me. And I love making those videos. And that's why 
for Subnautica Below Zero, it was such a joy to actually cover those weekly where I was showcasing just all the little changes. And then to go back later too, to me, it's like an archive of their progress and where they started and then where they finish. And I get to go back and watch my own videos. It's like, whoa, that looked way different. what they put in that week? And then to kind of look at that. And outside of, nobody has to make content for it. You don't have to watch my content for it, but you get to play it yourself if you want to also and hop in and see these things. So I'm very excited that this game is going to be coming to early access here. Now, just as 2022, we don't have any official, like, is it Q1, Q2? Like, when is it going to be? We don't have any of that info, but we can expect something from Unknown Worlds. And then I would probably suspect the cycle on that's going to be two or three years early access, most likely, um, just based off of what I, we saw with Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. But very excited for that. It is different. This is not a Subnautica game. Um, I think one of the details they have mentioned with this is going to be um, that it is a turn-based game. So it's it's different, completely different genre than Subnautica and the adventure games. Think uh, XCOM, right, uh, with that. So different genre. They're branching out. Um, but that's all they've said. And that's all I know. So uh, excited to actually get like a first look at it. Like, I, I don't know, just... I love the art style that they've done with Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero took it to another level. And then you have Natural Selection, which I don't play, but I have watched their updates and I've looked at videos on the game and things like that. And to see like where they're going to go art wise with this and between the art style, the story, and then of course the gameplay, where, where were they going with this game? Very, very excited to see that. So hopefully we have more news here in the coming weeks, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be a couple months before we hear anything, but fingers crossed before the end of the year, we have something that we can actually look at and say like, all right, screenshot, snippet of gameplay, I don't know, uh, maybe just a, a small write-up on it, something. And I actually did find out that there is something out there. So this is actually a piece of artwork for the game. This was a post that Charlie made. And so I'm actually recording this in post because I missed this. I didn't know if I could share this or not. And I've been given permission since it's kind of put out there on Twitter. They're looking for artists and people to help with the game. And this was one of the things that Charlie actually shared on Twitter. And so this is by Alejandro here. And so this definitely looks different than anything we've seen from Unknown Worlds before, but this is kind of a teaser into potentially, obviously, the art style maybe with this. I know this is concept art, but where they would go with it, but like what is going on with this image? Like this person is riding around on, it kind of looks like, ho like a horse, but it's like futuristic, like they're treating the machine like a horse. They have a... Uh, a hand like a claw thing like a metal claw thing on a chain here and then it looks like they have a robotic arm like there's some intense stuff going on here so it almost looks like maybe medieval also like th this is a weird mixture of stuff going on but it looks really cool and it definitely has me intrigued with this so one little piece, hopefully this does kind of give everybody just a little view of what they're kind of doing right now with this, because this is something that I actually missed. I didn't know this until Danya shared it with me, so missed this one, but cool to see that there is at least a piece of artwork out there showcasing, hey, this is where this game is going to be going when uh, we finally release more information out on it, and we can see what's the gameplay like and all that other stuff, but it looks wild. But that's going to be it for this one. Um, I haven't covered anything with Subnautica Below Zero. Um, obviously, the game has launched, so there's really nothing to cover with this. But once this game does go into early access, I will be playing it, obviously, and I will be covering the updates with videos like I did with Subnautica Below Zero. So that is something hopefully everybody will enjoy. But let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think this is the right move for unknown worlds what do you think about the the next game that they're working on coming to early access in 2022 and what are your kind of thoughts on them kind of changing it up and doing something completely different but that's going to be it for this one everybody if you like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all my content hit the subscribe button for me and as always thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video